The Three Favorite Songwriters of Leonard Cohen It is generally agreed upon that Leonard Cohen is among the most talented composers in the history of the world. It should come as no surprise that his opinion of his fellow songwriters carried a great deal of weight, in the same way that we all do. He had a short list of his favorites. Locate three of them as follows. 1. Tom Waits When it comes to folk music, Tom Waits and his smoky style deserve the top slot on this list. The two songwriters share certain similarities, yet their styles couldn't be more different from one another. When compiling a playlist of captivating lyricists, it would not be unusual to have both Waits and Cohen on the list of artists to include. According to Cohen, however, Waits' music was significantly superior to his own in terms of quality. Cohen made a reference to Waits in his poem titled Dream Brighton, which was written in the year 2008. His affection for the folk singer was expressly stated in the lines that are presented here. My show went well, I can't see him. I'm in my dressing room, but I can hear him. His music begin, it is so beautiful and original and sophisticated so much better than mine some melange of harshness and sweetness. 2. Joni Mitchell It is reasonable to expect that Joni Mitchell will be included on the list of songwriters that the songwriter considers to be their favorite songwriters. The lyricists and melody makers all over the world are green with envy because of the vocalist. Cohen had a great deal of admiration for her artistic abilities, among other things. In the late 1960s, the two appeared to have a love connection for a brief period of time. Both musicians claim that their individual musical abilities were the driving force behind their mutual decision to collaborate. At one point, Cohen referred to Mitchell as a musical monster. Cohen was quoted as saying, Joni was some kind of musical monster, and her gift somehow put her in a different category from the other folk singers. The gift that she possessed was accompanied by a certain level of ruthlessness. It was as if she were a storm. Not only was she a stunning young lady, but she also possessed an extraordinary talent. 3. Bob Dylan We can't even fathom the possibility that there is a single folk performer in the world who does not consider Bob Dylan to be an inspiration. It doesn't matter how you look at it. Dylan is an inspiration to everyone. Indeed, Cohen was of the same opinion. In a previous interview with The Bard, Cohen stated, Okay, Bob, you're number one, but I'm number two. As far as I am concerned, Leonard, you are the most important person in the world, Dylan tells me. I am the absolute zero. This means that, according to my understanding at the time, his work was beyond measure, while my work was very good. I was not prepared to challenge this understanding at the time, 